conference in Paris and we met here at this year Ochi, who is the co-founder of uh, the new company called Outlay. It's a platform for developers uh, for the launch of uh, scalable rollups, uh, execution layers. And as well, he is co-founder of uh, Zelika and uh, ex-director uh, Asia at Parity. Nice to meet you here. Yeah, yeah great to uh, meet you, uh, Anna. Yeah, it's a great pleasure to have uh, this conversation with you and to share more about all layer. yeah. So can you tell us uh, about your journey into cri in crypto? How did you get into industry? Which year was it? Yeah, so um, it's a long history. So I started uh, my research on consensus protocols and also privacy technologies mm -hmm. in peer-to-peer -peer networks since um, 2014. And uh, back in 2017, as you mentioned, right, together with my friends and advisor, so we co-founded Zilliqa. Mm -hmm. the very first uh, public sharding blockchain and uh, and software at that time I was um, the CTO in charge of the design and implementation of the core protocol and uh, and later like uh, back into uh, 2020 uh, Gavin from me we had a bunch of conversations so I, for the past uh, two years I helped him to uh, grow the ecosystem to mm -hmm. accelerate a bunch of projects in the blockchain space like Mumbi, Makala, Star. And uh, yeah, since last uh, December, together with some um, old friends, and uh, we started earlier. Uh, Basic is a new um, application supposed to be a rollout solution. Uh, mm -hmm. We are trying to help applications in different uh, like ecosystem to provide the scaling sol solutions for them to handle like uh, millions of requests per second, mm -hmm. and also help them to uh, really grow their like sort of the user base um, to a very large uh, scale. Yeah. And uh, you had uh, quite a successful first fundraising uh, round, $17.2 mm -hmm. million, dollars, and uh, your company is backed by A16Z, Polychain, uh, Balaji Srinivasan, Gavin Wood, and uh, a lot of other mm -hmm. uh, key leaders in the industry. So can you tell more about cooperation with them? Oh, yeah. So, um, yeah, since the early days, we got a lot of uh, good, like, early stage backers, as you mentioned, right, Polychain, Briar Capital, and also Jump Capital, mm -hmm. along with some um, uh, co-founders from, uh, like, Circle, and Ethereum, and also Synthetics. And actually, they gave us a lot of uh, support, I mean, to, uh, like, uh, have a bunch of conversations with the uh, FT and game projects. Yeah, because for us, right, we are building these um, new application specific rollups, and uh, we our main target application actually are NFT games and probably also the directive exchanges. Mm -hmm. So they really need to handle a lot of users and requests uh, in a short period of time, and uh, they really need the high throughput, low transaction fee, and low latency scaling solution. So we are sort of the perfect uh, solution for them. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, for us, like basically, we have. Um, like several advantages. Like one is that basically we can provide a flash layering technique. Mm -hmm. And that sort of we help the developers to quickly spin off a dedicated rollup for them. And uh, in that case, they just need to click a bunch of buttons and then mm -hmm. they can, um, the, the layer will be spin off for their services. And then they can just deploy the solid contracts on layer. Mm -hmm. And our protocol will later like roll up the states and also data back to the selected L1s like mm -hmm. Ethereum. Yeah, apart from that, um, the execution layer is also EVM compatible. Mm -hmm. And meanwhile, it's also WASM compatible. That means like for some new libraries, like zero knowledge proof libraries, mm -hmm. probably they are not compatible with Solidity. But in our case, like we can help um, them to compile into WASM. So in that case, the Solidity contract can call these new libraries or even some SDKs from games and the metaverse. Uh, yeah. And modular <laughs> blockchains is quite a trendy topic uh, right now. And yeah. so you are providing execution and scalability layer. Mm -hmm. uh, how are you compatible with Celestia, mm. which provides data availability layer? Can you cooperate mm. with them? Or yeah, so it's a, it's a very good question. Actually, last week we just had a call with them and uh, seeking about the collaboration between our two projects. The thing that earlier, right, our main focus is on the uh, execution layer. So we mm -hmm. are trying to provide a versatile execution environment for all different applications. So like, for example, for um, the Solidity contract, they can be deployed on the layer because it's uh, EVM compatible. Um, but at the same time, as you mentioned, right, for us, since we are providing these services for all different applications, and mm -hmm. uh, it really depends on demands and requests from the developers. So for some developers, probably they want the data to be available on Ethereum. 
and uh, then we uh, probably they have a much better budget, so we can definitely help them to uh, roll out the states and um, have the full-fledged fraud proof on Ethereum. Mm -hmm. But in some cases, right, the, probably the application or developers, the short of budget, so they want uh, another DA layer with uh, sort of uh, low cost, and then we can definitely collaborate with Celestia and provide the data on that DA layer. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, so as I mentioned, right, our main focus is on the execution uh, environment part. Uh, we can definitely in the future collaborate with different uh, DA layers and to make sure like our data to be available at different levels, mm -hmm. yeah. And when is the release of your testnet? Um, yeah, actually for the past few months, we made a lot of progress on the development part. And uh, internally, we already have the testnet ready and already connecting to uh, Ethereum and uh, Polygon and also BIC. And, uh, and basically, at the end of this month, we will have our uh, first uh, like sort of uh, a demonstration of the NFT mm -hmm. Mint, we call uh, All Layer OG Badge Mint, to showcase the capability of All Layer and also mm -hmm. our protocol. Uh, right now, we already got like over 2,000 people registered for that event. Oh, if wow. some of your audience <laughs> really interested in earlier, like just feel free to join that. Um, so in, in that sort of event, right, we will showcase that how we handle like tons of thousands requests mm -hmm. um, for a short period of time and provide a seamless user experience for them. They just need to visit the website, click the buttons, and then we will handle all the like huge traffic by the dedicated layer. And uh, after the mint, uh, basically, we will roll up all the NFT back to Ethereum. People can mm -hmm. start to trade the uh, NFT on um, OpenSea or any uh, like sort of marketplaces on Ethereum. Yeah. Uh, so these NFTs are in Ethereum? Uh-huh. OK, and how many NFTs are available? So yeah, for this round, it's, uh, it's around uh, 300. So mm -hmm. we, uh, we, the, the main purpose, actually, is, uh, is not about the mint NFT. It's really to show the capability. Mm -hmm. of our scaling solution like how we can handle like uh, tons of thousands of transactions or requests um, like per second and then how we provide uh, like, like better user experience people don't really need to switch the wallet from one uh, layer to another layer but at the same time like we can also ensure that all the states and NFTs will be on ethereum at the mm -hmm. end so we have the derived security from l1s yeah and in your opinion, what are the most uh, trendy use cases uh, for blockchain and crypto now? Um, yeah, for the use case, I would say, uh, of course, like since to, uh, 2020, we already have the DeFi summer, and uh, mm -hmm. right now we have all the like sort of uh, lending protocols and exchanges, decentralized exchanges on, uh, on different blockchains. And uh, I think this industry is quite mature, and uh, DeFi already proved that. Uh, it's uh, it's a relatively very successful product in crypto space, and for the past one and a half years, we saw the boom of NFTs, and uh, definitely I would say NFT uh, brought a lot of users mm -hmm. outside the uh, uh, crypto space to the blockchain industry, and uh, I believe like probably for the next few years, NFTs is definitely another like very good scenario and use case mm -hmm. for a lot of. Uh, I mean projects. I mean, well, as we can see, right, games and the metaverse. Um, right now, like we saw a lot of investment in these uh, different sectors, and we believe that like, probably for the next three to five years, these um, uh, like uh, NFT game and metaverse, the application we will have a much huge uh, market, mm -hmm. and uh, and uh, at the same time, really high, uh, they will really have a lot of users. Mm -hmm. um, that's also our um, uh, expectation for the market, and uh, that's why once these applications have a lot of user um, for um, to use them, right? They definitely mm -hmm. some uh, much better scaling solution for them. So that's why at all year we are providing such solutions for them to handle these probably uh, millions or even tons of million mm -hmm. users in the future. Yeah. And so, what is your opinion on current market? Uh, when we will see the next bull market? Yeah, I, I think the current market condition is highly like so, sort of associated with the global economy, mm -hmm. and um, it may, may not in a very uh, good condition. But at the same time, I think it's um, it's a very good timing for people to build build decent projects, um, similar to last cycle. As we can see, right, at ECC, we saw a lot of uh, new projects and a lot of um, developers. Mm -hmm. So people are trying to figure out like what's the next. Uh, 
like sort of uh, uh, hot topic in the crypto space and meanwhile how to build very decent applications in this space to serve more users in the future right mm -hmm. and uh, as I mentioned right probably it's not a very uh, good timing for the entire market but definitely it's I think it's uh, it's um, always a good time for developers to build <laughs> new stuff uh, for builders and then and then uh, we, we can see like if um, if there are some survival uh, survivors uh, in this cycle and with some new projects probably uh, for the next one or two years we can really mm -hmm. see uh, this project can lead the trend of the crypto market yeah and do you have any favorite altcoin picks um, yeah, for me, like, like I don't really, uh, I don't really do the trading in the secondary mm -hmm. market. Um, but in general, I would say, like, uh, right now, if we look at all the, uh, all the crypto project, right, I still think we are at the stage, uh, nascent stage. Like, we still uh, need to have a much better infrastructure mm -hmm. um, for the crypto space and also blockchain space. And I think for different L1s and L2s um, or scaling solutions like us, I think we definitely need um, like sort of um, them to, to really build a solid foundation for mm -hmm. the future application, right? So that's why I think these L1, L2s um, can really have uh, like sort of a better, I would say, um, like sort of uh, expectation of the returns in mm -hmm. the long run, yeah. And can you share some upcoming plans for Elflare? Oh yeah, so I, as I just mentioned, right, we will uh, basically uh, have the uh, earlier OG badge mint at the mm -hmm. end of this month to uh, show the capability of our scaling solution. Just feel free to join. And, uh, and meanwhile, we will also launch our fully EVM compatible testnet very soon. Mm -hmm. And meanwhile, on our side, we are, um, we are also looking for some uh, strategic uh, like uh, investors and partners um, to basically bring their portfolio NFT and, uh, and uh, game or different applications to use like sort of uh, uh, all their solutions. Yeah, we would like to collaborate with the different uh, VCs and investors to really build a scaling, a scalable uh, Web3 in the near future. Yeah. Uh, do you plan to release your own token in future too? Um, yeah, for that, I, I, uh, we, we may not have the plan this year, but we will, um, we will consider probably uh, once our development and also uh, the market condition, I will just uh, consider all different mm -hmm. like, sort of factors. And at the same time, we try to have our full-fledged uh, like, uh, system and also technology ready for all different applications. Meanwhile, we try to onboard some uh, flagship applications using mm -hmm. uh, all layer. And then after that, we will see like, how, uh, what's the best uh, way to grow the ecosystem mm -hmm. and provide our all layer scaling solutions for the application or for Web3. Yeah. Okay, we'll follow uh, your developments. So good luck with that. And maybe <laughs> when you will release your token, it will be the next gem. So guys, follow Alflare. Yeah, thank you very much. Thanks, Anna. And uh, really appreciate um, you. your, like, um, your time uh, for this podcast. Yeah, thank you. Thank you.